Hello friends, it is Jack Kai, and today I'm bringing you a top 5 interesting puzzles from my Cube Collection 2019. So yeah, this is gonna be my Yeti Mike's debut performance, so yeah, that's cool. Big upgrade for my phone's microphone. So yeah, starting off with number 5, we have this um, Scoop thing, Scoop Diamond, I don't even know what you call this. So there's this some guy uh, called Oscar at some competition in 2016 that wanted to give this away for free and nobody wanted it for some reason. Well, I was just like, this is a free puzzle, why not? So yeah, he gave it to me and it's been lying on my shelf ever since. Now going on to number four, we have the Rubik's 360. It's essentially a big ball with another medium sized ball inside with small balls inside that are colored as well. And you put these colored balls inside these half circles on the outside to solve the puzzle. And I've only solved one of the balls, so there are five more to go. Uh, I think this I got this for free at a competition in 2014. Uh, it cost $2 to enter, and this puzzle cost like $30, I think, so it was quite the bargain. Now, coming in at number three, we have the YJ Bread 7x7. Yeah, that's literally what it was called when I bought it online. Uh, yep, as you can see, the pieces are a little bit loose and flimsy, and I don't really want to turn this because it, feel like, it feels like it's about to like, break apart at any moment. Uh, yeah, it was quite the bargain, uh, as with all these other puzzles, I think. And yeah, it was a YJ product as well. So this was solved by the um, Aztecian Aztecs of YJ before Moyu existed, so um, this is the great ancestor of the uh, GDS3M, pretty much. So yeah, that's nice to know. Now we're going to number two, which is this $3 cube I got from the dollar store. Because it costs $3, it is therefore 300% greater than the average product at aforementioned dollar store. It turns pretty smoothly without any lube, and it can sometimes cut one degree. As you can see. So yep. Yeah, felt like I had to put something that was actually like cubic here. Yeah. And honorable mention goes to my uh, Tower of Cube Stands. I would like to thank the cubicle.us for sponsoring the top four cube stands of this cube stand tower. And now we're going into number one. Let's make a drum roll, or really a table roll. I hope you guys are excited. It's this thing. Um, or oh, the greatest budget Mega Minx of 2019. It has, um, oh, whoops. It has hooks and stuff, which is the greatest innovation since Chris Tran's magnets. It allows you to pull stuff out, turn stuff, and put it back in. Yeah, I wonder if this is comp legal. Um, if you're a WCA delegate, um, pl please let me know in the comments if this is uh, comp legal or not. Although I think like even if this was comp legal, I probably still wouldn't use it because I'm kind of worried that the hooks and stuff on the outside might intimidate other competitors and it is against WCA regulations to distract and intimidate other competitors. And being the WCA law abiding citizen I am, I do not wish to do that. So uh, yeah, that's it. I'm just going to put all the cubes back because that's what people do when they summarize the video and stuff. So yeah, speaking of summarizing the video, these are the puzzles and stuff. I don't know where you can buy them, but uh, maybe I'll chuck some links or something. Or maybe not because these kind of suck. See ya.